how's Fisher doing, Yay Yay? Oh, 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 oh. No, Darian, you're scaring Fisher. Don't scare him. Good morning, guys. This is Elizabeth Kwan from Homesteading for Health, and it is a wonderful, beautiful day. I love the fall, the cool weather. Um, we are in the process of making new rabbit hutches, and they're gonna be going in the shop because there's gonna be a lot of changes here. These sheds are going to be sold, except for not by running. My daughter wants a banana. Yes, I'll get her a banana. Um, and a new barn is going up, and we're so excited. I will show you the plans here for the barn. There's gonna be uh, a mezzanine on top. There's gonna be stalls for the different animals. Um, we're planning to board two horses and um, that'll help pay for the barn itself. So uh, it's pretty exciting. And um, so yeah, I'll show you the prototype that we did on the rabbit yeah, 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 I've been having Braxton Hicks contractions and it's too early for that and I'm I'm scared that I'm gonna have a premature birth but um, I'm gonna go slower today I was gonna pick up uh, eggs in the field I might I might have Derek do that for me because that's a lot of bending over and sometimes when you're pregnant yep I'm pregnant when you're pregnant that can be um, that repetitive down and up could be a lot for you. All right, the rabbit hutch. There it is. Oh, I hear Nayeli with the kittens. Yes, Kalina, you had to, you had to come in and get snuggles. Okay, careful, yay yay. All right, so I like this little barn detail that Kara had it um, thought up of. And we have in here some shower pan that we put on the walls. That's just to help, and then I'll vacuum this out daily, but they should be, um, and here will be the litter box right here, and then I'm gonna put a hay, some kind of hay thing. I'm gonna figure it out, because I wanna make sure I wanna it works. make a hay rack for the, for the, uh, the bunnies, but I wanna make sure, make sure, make sure that it works um, efficiently and well. Um, the way that I want it to. So, uh, it's really fun. Okay. Oh, Nayeli, careful with the kitties. Okay. They're growing so big so fast. Oh, sweeties. And you can see the live birth of the bunnies. I mean, not the bunnies, the kittens. Gentle, gentle. You can, they, hey, she wants to drink. She wants to drink. I know that one's a girl. I'm not sure about the other ones. You're, okay. quite, you're quite ridiculous, Carolina. You're quite ridiculous. Just a boy? You just want love. Our, our kitten that we saved from the reservoir, um, previous videos, you can see that about that. He's doing well too. Oh, Come here, I've got good fruit too for you. Her. He's still kind of afraid of cat though. This is Mr. Um, Fisher. So, uh, but what I really wanted to do was show you guys. Um, you saw one video possibly, and if you didn't, I planted some fall broccoli. And I will give you a tip about fall broccoli that I think is important when organic gardening. So, I did not, I have a lot of the cabbage, those cabbage moths. And they almost completely decimated my um, uh, fall broccoli plants when I first put them in the ground. Now they're doing decently. Yes, they have holes in them, but they are doing a decent job of producing a bit of a head. So some of them have started. We'll see how that goes. Um, but I would put I would definitely put a cover over especially your fall broccoli because in the fall your those cabbage moths are in full 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 swing and um, they just really decimated my little my little seedlings 
And that might work to me as somewhat of a benefit because actually uh, it stunted the growth of some of them, which might make my broccoli harvest staggered, which could be beneficial to me. So, um, so that I can eat all the broccoli up at fresh and not have to uh, preserve it in any way. So, um, yes, tip for fall broccoli, put a cover over it, a cloth cover, a barrier of some sort to keep those pesky little cabbage moths off of your fall broccoli. And I planted those, let's see, I started them in July and I planted them out in August. That's for Iowa time zone, um, Iowa zone. Um, so I, uh, I think we're gonna get a really nice harvest of broccoli, regardless of my one air of not covering them up. <clears throat> I don't like to cover things because it looks ugly, but if I can get a lot more produce from it, well, we'll see what this gives me. So we shall see. Daddy is happily making supper for us tonight because I'm working very hard in the shop. So we had, we got the prototype finished as you, uh, you saw, and now we have four that are, should be done by tonight. So Kara has been working hard. I have been working hard too. And she has taught me to do so many things. I am forever going to be grateful for her. Um, I feel so empowered by using all these power tools and learning my cuts and how to use tools and a Craig jig and the table saw and everything. So it's been fun. That's my sister. Hello. Oh, I look terrible though. <laughs> okay, it's the next day. We have three full hutches done and the other one is almost done. Um, this was a fun time. Thank you, my sister, Kara. Some of you might think, didn't she say her husband was an architect? Well, I have him doing another project right now. Um, he is building on the side of our house. He is going to build a little overhang that can overhang. We're going to put the milk stanchion for our cow right here. And so that in the winter time, I'll be able to milk her more easily. Um, I'm not sure how far in the winter I'm gonna be milking. The other day I was having so many Braxton Hicks contractions that I felt like, man, I can't do anything. Um, but today I've been feeling good and uh, yesterday I felt really good and I was working. Um, so, so that's good. And uh, I'll just take one day at a time. But it will be an improvement on the house because um, it'll be an area that the kids can put some of their toys and, and stuff to get it out of the weather as well. This is kind of the hutch, one of the hutches that um, they're in right now. Hi, my babies. Hi, cuties. You're so cute. Yes, we're gonna put you in new hutches. You're gonna get all new hutches. Yes. And these. And we're gonna just have them in the shop. Hi babies. Hi babies. Hi. Lily, you're such a good mommy. At least let them have one sport a year. Wow, that's so high. Oh, you caught it. What a little sportsy guy. <laughs> Not quite. Look at her cute little kid. But I thought we were going to be in the water the whole time. And Look at these babies. I make you stand outside the weight. water most of the time. And they then you get in and do your little laps. And then you'd stand outside in the water. And some breakfast. It was just too cold. Yeah, and some breakfast. <coughs> <coughs> but, oh. Kara's trying I, to convince me to let Darian do some sports. Well, my heart smiles when I watch Logan do wrestling because when he starts to sort of get beat a little bit he looks up at me 
I smile back at him. He gets this little devious look in his eyeballs and then he just becomes a monster and he is unpinnable. <laughs> Absolutely unpinnable. And he's amazing. Oh, hi. Hi. Are you gonna get started? Maybe. He stopped working yesterday because there was tons of box seller bugs. They just coat the house after the sun is shining on the house for a while because they come out of the fields. Um, nice socks, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they come out of the fields uh, because of the harvesting. And even though they're Maybe harvesting, screaming. they're not harvesting that field, but they're the one over there and then all around. She's you know. screaming. Oh, I gotta go get yeah, yeah.